Imagine the roar of a well-tuned engine, the smell of gasoline and rubber, the adrenaline rush as you grip the wheel. Welcome to the world of muscle cars, where power meets beauty in a symphony of speed. Today we present to you our countdown of the five most expensive American muscle cars ever sold at auction. Reserves off $2,450,000. Wow, and you're talking about this type of coin. Not surprising that they're taking their time to get it all ironed out. Number 5. 1971 Hemikuda Convertible. Kicking off our list at a staggering $3.5 million is the 1971 Hemikuda Convertible. This classic beauty is more than just a car. It's a piece of American history. Born during the peak of the muscle car era, the 71 Hemi Cuda convertible is a rare gem with only 11 models ever made. The fact that this 1971 convertible is the only one still in existence with genuine matching number components makes it extremely rare. Its rarity is matched by its power. Under the hood, you'll find a 425 horsepower, 7.0 liter Hemi engine, a force to be reckoned with even by today's standards. The convertible top adds to its allure, making it the perfect ride for a summer's drive along the coast. But what really sets the Cuda apart is its legacy. It's a symbol of a time when muscle cars ruled the roads, a tangible piece of the American dream. The Cuda convertible certainly sets a high bar, but we're just getting started. Southwest-born cartoonist Russ Meyer was its first known owner. Meyer made a $250,000 sale to a man in Oregon, but it was later found during a drug bust and went up for $405,000 at auction. Julia Stewer then brought the car back to its former splendor, restoring it to its original B5 bright blue color scheme, complete with blue paint, a black top, and matching blue seats. It was the most expensive Chrysler ever sold when it went for a whooping $3.5 million at the 2014 Seattle Mecham Car Auction. Man, $3.5 million. Guys, I think that might be our number one car of the auction so far. <laughs> number four, 1967 Corvette L88S Coupe. Stepping up to the plate with a price tag of $3.85 million, we have the 1967 Corvette L88S Coupe. A marvel of muscle car ingenuity, the 67 Corvette L88S Coupe is a shining example of American automotive prowess. This beauty was the only one of 2019 67 model year L88 Corvettes produced with a matching red-on-red -red paint job. However, in spite of its extravagant price, this car lacked many personal conveniences. It was without a radio, heating, or air conditioning. Nevertheless, under the hood, you'll find a monstrous L88 427 cubic inch V8 engine, a powerhouse that pushed the boundaries of what was thought possible in a production vehicle. This engine was so potent that Chevrolet, in a bid to discourage its use on public roads, underreported its horsepower. Only 20 of these beauties were ever made, adding a hefty dose of exclusivity to its allure and was sold to a very wealthy buyer at the Barrett-Jackson Scottsdale auction in 2014 for a hefty $3.85 million. Number 3. 1966 Shelby Cobra 427 Super Snake. Roaring in at number 3 with a price of $5.1 million, we have the 1966 Shelby Cobra 427 Super Snake. This is a beast, a legend, a true icon in the world of high-performance vehicles. It's the embodiment of raw power and unadulterated speed, encapsulated in a sleek and timeless design. Built by the renowned automotive designer Carroll Shelby, the Super Snake is one of the most coveted American muscle cars. What sets this car apart? For starters, it boasts a 427 cubic inch V8 engine, capable of producing an impressive 800 horsepower. That's enough to make the ground tremble beneath its wheels. But power isn't the only thing that makes a super snake. It's the combination of raw performance and luxury that sets it apart. With its unique dual superchargers and a three-speed automatic transmission, this car is a testament to the golden age of American muscle. The super snake's history is as fascinating as its mechanics. Originally built as a racing car, it was later modified for street use. 
Only two were ever made, adding to its allure and rarity. It's no wonder this car was auctioned off for a staggering $5.1 million. Additionally, Steve Davis scraped through two layers of paint to find its original brilliant Guardsman Blue. It has its original date coded 1965 Competition Girling CR and BR calipers. Remarkably, the car still maintains its original 1965 date-coded engine block, 5M17, December 17, 1965, as well as its original 427 Competition 377 rear-end, original rear-end oil cooler, and original rear-end pumps. Even the chrome side pipes and headers are original to the vehicle. Since this CSX30, 15 is regarded as a period original, renewal was chosen over restoration. It just makes sense that this baby brought $5.1 million at the Scottsdale, Arizona Barrett-Jackson auction. The Super Snake leaves quite an impression, but our next two cars are in a league of their own. Number 2. 1964 Ford GT40 Prototype Zooming into second place at a cool $7 million is the 1964 Ford GT40 prototype. Being driven with some of the most popular race car drivers like Bruce McLaren, Bob Bondurant, Phil Hill, and Chris Ammon, it was made very clear that this car was one of a kind. This car is a testament to Ford's engineering prowess in the golden age of motor racing. Born out of the fierce competition between Ford and Ferrari, the Ford GT40 prototype was the automaker's bold response. It was designed with one clear aim, to break the European dominance in endurance racing, particularly at the prestigious 24 Hours of Le Mans. And it did just that, ushering in an era of American dominance in the sport. What makes this car so special, you ask? Well, it's a combination of history, design, and performance. The GT40 was the first car from an American manufacturer to win at Le Mans, and it did so four times consecutively from 1966 to 1969. Its groundbreaking design, with a sleek, low-slung body and powerful V8 engine, changed the face of racing forever. But it's not just about the past. The 1964 Ford GT40 prototype remains a marvel even today. With its unique features like the innovative aerodynamics and the mid-engine layout continue to influence modern supercars, Ford displayed this rare gem at the Detroit Auto Show for a number of years until its last restoration in 2010 by Paul Lanzant and was sold at the Houston Mecham auction in 2014 for $7 million. So, is it worth $7 million? For a car that changed the game, that embodies the spirit of American muscle, and that still turns heads more than half a century later, we'd say it's worth every penny. As impressive as the GT40 prototype is, it's still not our number one. That spot is reserved for a true legend. Number 1. 1962 Shelby Cobra CSX 2000 Finally, at the pinnacle of our list, sold for an astonishing $13.75 million, we have the 1962 Shelby Cobra CSX 2000. The first of its breed, this incredible machine is where the Shelby Cobra legacy began. It's a piece of automotive history that's as alluring as it is powerful. Born from the partnership between Carroll Shelby and AC Cars of England, the Shelby Cobra CSX 2000 was the prototype that set the stage for a new era of American muscle. With its lightweight body, a powerful Ford V8 engine, and a unique blend of British sports car charm and American brute force, it revolutionized the auto industry. This particular model, the CSX 2000, was the very first one built. It served as a test car, a show car, and a press car. Its historical significance and original condition are what drove its price to record heights. More makes this Cobra unique than the fact that Carroll Shelby and his team completed it first. In its initial year of life, it was painted a variety of colors and transported from event to event to give the impression that production had begun in earnest. Actually, it hadn't, but the deception had succeeded. Eventually, it turned out to be the stunning blue hue you see today, and remarkably, it has never been restored, as evidenced by the numerous dents and dings throughout the body and the mismatched paint jobs hidden in layers throughout the chassis. But in the end, it was the priciest car ever sold in America, even with these defects. 
On August 19, 2016, the 1962 Shelby Cobra CSX 2000 made its way to the auction stage at the R.M. Sotheby's sale in Monterey, California. When the hammer fell, the car had achieved a record price of $13.75 million, including buyer's fees for an American car sold at auction. On behalf of the Miller family, who already possess an incredible collection of Shelby cars, Greg Miller made the purchase. From the 71 Hemicuda convertible to the 62 Shelby Cobra CSX 2000, these muscle cars represent the pinnacle of automotive achievement and investment. Altogether, these five titans of the road fetched a staggering $33,215,000 at auction, each one a testament to the enduring allure and value of American muscle cars. The 71 Hemicuda convertible, the 67 Corvette L88S Coupe, the 66 Shelby Cobra, 427 Super Snake, the 64 Ford GT40 prototype, and the 62 Shelby Cobra CSX 2000 are more than just vehicles. They're pieces of history, embodiments of an era defined by power and style. And they're investments that appreciate over time, their value climbing as steadily as the roar of their engines. In the world of muscle cars, beauty, power, and value go hand in hand. These five cars are the epitome of that truth. Which of these expensive muscle cars did you find most interesting? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until then, I'll catch you on the next one.